Now I'm going to continue uh, my uh, uh, demonstration of our uh, project two, our first uh, uh, design, newspaper design project. And again, I'll turn off my, uh, my web video, uh, my webcam video, and just go to the uh, content so that I don't get, it, get my face in the way. Okay, so I left off uh, putting, this, uh, putting in this third story. Third or fourth? Third story. Fourth story, wasn't it? Um, yeah, now my fourth story. Um, so I'm getting close to the end of the front page, uh, and then I'll show you how to do the, the uh, uh, page two, the jump page. Um, again, I, I'm not sure if I necessarily need a, uh, a sub-headline on every story, but I guess I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. It, it's... And the more subheadlines, if you do them well, uh, you will definitely get more credit. That is the norm now to do subheadlines or summary sentences. And summary sentences are sentences are harder to do, I think. Um, and uh, they both have their different challenges. But I would suggest uh, subheadlines are are both uh, attract more attention. They purposely say things in a shorter way so people can just glance at them and understand what they have to say more than a summary sentence. So um, I personally am going to go all subtitles, uh, if anything at all, and I think as long as I have room, I will have a subtitle in every story. I see Maria has her name second. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to reverse it to American style. To Maria's uh, name up to the front of her byline. Okay, I left uh, an extra room here. Um, <clears throat> so, looking for a subheadline. Let's see, Kimip hosts large Nari celebration to welcome in spring. Um, so, university uh, invites families. Comma. By the way, it's another headline needs to put comma instead of the word and. Families, comma, community to participate. So I'll select that and go over here. Um, I don't think I need color right now. I'm just going to turn off the color, get it out of the way, and uh, look at. Trying to get to my style sheets over here. And so I need uh, the subheadline. Uh, this is a fairly small headline, so the subheadline can also be smaller. So I'm going to shrink that down. Again, I like to get started using uh, the keyboard command Shift, Control. I hold those down. And then to make it smaller, I hit the comma, which is the uppercase of comma is the uh, lesser than sign. And the uppercase of the period is a greater than sign. So you hit those two with the uh, shift and control buttons down, and they make they shrink your uh, headline or your subheadline. Uh, so this is probably about the right size. This is uh, 18 point, and I think this is about 36, uh, 35 point. So I need to okay, make this third line a little bit longer somehow. As I mentioned, you're always kind of, uh, you're looking for th at the thesaurus and other um, things to try to make things even out. Um, to participate. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe if I add, I know this isn't going to fit, but I'm going to have festivity. Um, Enjoy. So well, that looks like that will fit. I can go up a little bit rather than 18, go up to maybe just 19. That's probably all I can fit in there. Okay, so I have a subheadline there. University invites families, comma, community to enjoy festivity. Okay. Festivities can also be pluralized festivities if it fits doesn't quite fit and I'm not sure 
um, I'll just call it singular. It's not much difference in, in, in this reference way of referencing it. Okay, so we have uh, that done. The question is, however, I, uh, going back to another piece of art, I think there's one that I could cut down pretty small. I need to go back and look, though. I'm going to go back um, and find my stuff. Okay. Uh, put down here and... Oh, this is the wrong, uh, my wrong external hard drive. Close that up. And uh, looking at this one here. Chiman courses, editing, week eight, and broadsheet. Okay, so festivities, this, that's too big. This one is the one I was thinking of that I could crop down possibly to one column. Uh, I don't know if I can make that one column. I thought it was a little tighter than that. Um, let me just take a look at it here real quick. Actually, though, I could just cut her out and just have the guy with the eagle. In uh, Kazakhstan and Mongolia and probably the north and north northwest parts of China, they use eagles to hunt like uh, they do falcons at some of the other places. But I've, I have a picture of me holding one um, someplace in Facebook. And so that I could do one column. So that makes sense. Um, I think I might go ahead and and cut it down though here rather than doing it. Uh, so I'm going to open it with uh, Earth in view, and I will cut it down like this. That has some good, you know, has shows other people around there too. Um, I think that would be good. I think that'll fit. I'm going to take that, go to edit, and uh, crop the selection. And I'll go to save in the same folder, but I will name it differently. I'll call it, um, I don't know what, I, what the other names are. I don't want to, so this one I will say four. I don't think there's a four up there. So... Maurice, uh, photographer for. <clears throat> okay, so I'll close that. And I'll go back to Quark and bring that in. So I'm going to bring it um, right in here. And estimate approximately how deep it will be. Something like that. Uh, open up the box, bring that up to the headline. And uh, find that photo. There it is. And open. Again, it's way too big, but we'll right click it. And we will scale picture to box. Uh, it was pretty close. Um, a box a little bit too long. That's, oops. Okay, I guess that's correct. Um, I'm going to go to the other tool here. And bring this up. But, uh, okay, I'm going to move this up first. And I'm a little confused here what's happening with the text. Is the text moving like that? I'm not sure exactly. Okay, well, I'm going to uh, uh, bring, uh, 
I'm going to do a caption, so I'll do another um, text box right underneath that. And uh, what are you going to say? Goes off is and I will click on that. And hit the caption. Uh, one thing I haven't talked about yet is, is on captions. Um, you don't want it, the second line or uh, the last line to be this short. You want to be at least about halfway. Um, so either I make it shorter, make it one line, or make it longer. Because I hunter. Um, Kind of, uh, I don't want to be redundant. Um, hunter hunting is kind of redundant. Um, maybe I'll call him a sportsman. I'm not exactly sure what he is. Um, a Kazakh sportsman shows off his hunting eagle. Turn off the lights there a second. Had to make sure they're turn off the light permanently. Sorry. Um, so uh, Kazakh sportsman shows off his hunting eagle um, during Paris celebration. It's going to come down a little, another line. Um, okay, I'm going to select that box and uh, tell it to um, have a run around. I need to change that to item. Okay, then I can. Uh, Okay, and get in there again, finish that um, during the Nauris. Seem to be. Okay. Celebration at Kima. that uh, I'm not quite sure what's going on there with this oh, well, doesn't matter okay so uh, we have uh, we have the story done except um, I need a jump line again and so I'm going to uh, Create another text box for the jump line and I'll just put it down here for now and move it up. Um, so I'll have a single quote mark, uh, now this 
single quote mark continues on page two. Uh, I will uh, select that and uh, hit uh, Do I not have a jump? I thought I created a new st uh, style for jump line. I know I tried to create a, a whole item to drag in. Okay, so I need to remember, I think I did that uh, in, you know, let me look again. What do I have up here? Okay, I did leave it uh, in uh, Arial. So I will go Arial. It was bold, but not italics. I don't think it was 12 point. I'm gonna go down, I think it's 10 point still. Uh, flush right. And uh, so that, I can go ahead and mark that as, um, yeah, as a new style. This is uh, jump two. And hit OK. So I'll have that for next time. Um, I'd like to make the whole item uh, a part of the, a, something I can just drag and drop. I was doing that successfully the other day, but I uh, can't seem to get that to work right now, so I don't want to take the time. And so, anyway, I just need to select the box and again, hit the wraparound, uh, runner, aka runaround, and select item, and be able to put this up here. And I'm going to, I need to make sure that this, the bottom of this, again, matches the bottom of the other column. So I'm going to bring a, a guide down from the ruler again. And I will hit, uh, and I'm going to zoom in here real tight and uh, make sure I'm getting that right. So I can uh, just, oh, I just enlarge the, or bring the box up a little bit. Looks like that's correct. I can bring up the bottom a little bit too. No point. I see I'm not far enough to the right. I'll go to the right. So we do that one. Okay. Okay. Back out to uh, Control One to come out to uh, full size <clears throat> and bring this over so I can see it better. So. Uh, another story underneath this one um, and I'm going to I'd like to put the the picture for this new one right up here uh, not all the way down the bottom but up about there there won't be much story and I've got a new problem that means I need to box one of them not because of the uh, they're not exactly side by side, but but the headline, if I put the photo here, the headline is going to be down here next to that headline. If it were up here, I wouldn't bother. I could maybe put the headline above the photo. I don't always like to, I don't like to do that. Uh, that makes uh, the reader jump through from the headline through the picture to start the story down here. And even then, it could confuse the reader. They might think the story, that this story is part of this story here. So I'm still uh, a little bit concerned with that. Um, I see I did not, I thought I had a, I thought I had this, uh, thought I had a, uh, jump line down here apparently I didn't do that yet either 
Okay, so the question is, do I need to put another box down here? And I think I do need to. So I'm going to take a graphic box and start it. Um, let me bring up this. This box seems to be a little bit lower than it needs to be. Um, so I'm going to take the graphic box first and start right up in here. I'll have to go a little bit higher here in a second. And bring the graphic box down all the way to the bottom. Line that up. Basically, it's the line here now that we're going to line up to the bottom of the text. Um, so it's not the text now lining up to that text. It's the bottom part of this column. And the bottom of the part of this column is this box. But I'll worry about getting that more specific in a few minutes. Um, so I've got the box. I need to uh, uh, select the point size. And uh, again, I'm caught here with this uh, video control underneath the uh, uh, where I need to put a one point. Let me see if I can, I'm going to try. Okay, I can get it. Okay, this one I'm going to make smaller, half a point. So it's a little bit different than the other box that is partially beside it. And uh, I don't think I need anything else there. So um, I have the graphic box. Um, I'm going to bring it down a little further. I'll need to blow it up to make it exactly right. Um, but I also haven't lined up all the bottom columns for this uh, Marat st uh, story either. And this is touching the photo. Bring that down a little bit. Okay, so um, I again need to drag over some guides from uh, the ruler to keep this away from the edge of the uh, of the graphic box. This is probably a little bit come over a little bit more, more like the one next to it. Pretty close. And now I will bring down uh, the photo. There's not going to be much of the story here by the time I'm done with the putting in the photo. Um, if I were, I would probably not include this story if I were really, if I hadn't made the rule that we need five stories here. I would uh, just put in the, the photo and just say, see page two for story. Okay, but I have that. And uh, I'm going to go uh, put in the photo box up here. And uh, let me see how that photo fits in here. So the photo I'm looking at is, uh, again, this is, I'm going to bring in the uh, speed. Oh, no, the, this the hiking photo that I'm going to bring in. Uh, yeah, this can be cropped pretty easily for whatever size I want it to be. A lot of blue sky that can be cropped down. So that's the one I'm going to use. And uh, again, tell it to scale to uh, scale the picture to the box. Um, that's not correct. Scale picture to box. That's strange. I'm getting a little, some, having some stuff, funny stuff happening right now. Um, so I'm going to make the picture bigger and and. Uh, You know, I'm saying with this picture, I could be easily uh, take up this whole space. Uh, I'm going to uh, first off bring okay. So here's the actual box here. I'm going to 
So I move this whole, the content up and crop it from, you know, leave more at the bottom, less at the top, and even go a little bit, uh, bring it this way a little bit to crop some off the side as well to up, increase the size of the person. Uh, well, I'm going to again bring the, bring her up in this, however. Bring the mountains up. And that, uh, if I hit the box right, it should do it. Okay, so I apparently did. Okay. Um, so I've got just a little bit of room for a caption and headline and a little piece of the story. So I'll bring the uh, write a caption first. And uh, in fact, I'm going to make it easy on myself. I'm going to copy this caption and just come down here and uh, and just, uh, oops, what happened there? Yeah. Uh, make it wider and just rewrite it, obviously. Um, that way I don't have to re, uh, I don't have to do a lot with it. Just rewrite the, hit the caption. So, uh, Size and inspiration in the mountains near Almaty. Okay, so I got that. Um, go back and bring this up. It's just a little tighter to the photo. I don't, it's trying to jump again. So I'm going to, uh, again, uh, um, use the magnifying glass and try to um, just look at it a little bit closer. And it will allow me to get a little closer when I'm blowing up that big so it won't jump quite so much. Okay, and while I'm having that big, I might as well. Uh, go ahead and write the headline and do the rest to this story. Um, so I'll write a text, do a text box for this headline will be kind of small, smallish. Uh, since I don't have much space, it would look funny to have a real big headline. So we're probably talking about 24 point or something here. Um, but two, at least two lines of 24, so that'd be something like that. And I'll create another text box down below it. And come down. Bring that up a little bit. This one I might go ahead and make distinctive by, by making this one a full two columns wide, especially with the small space I have. Um, that might look pretty good. I'm going to hit uh, Control E again to bring in the story. So this is hiking by Demetrius um, For the moment, I will go ahead and copy that headline, put in the headline box. And I will um, I need her byline. I don't have her byline in there. I'm going to leave that extra space up top. I hit Control A to select all in that story. Um, I see a plus sign there. I'll hit it no style and then body text. 
I see we've got uh, some extra space put in manually ahead of the, um, and this looks like somebody just went space bar, space bar, space bar, which is even worse. I have to clean it up. Don't do that as a writer. It drives people crazy. It's, it's bad to put in a tab. It's much worse to use a space bar to space in. Um, okay. So I need the byline. I'm going to go back to the uh, spreadsheet to get our byline. So I've got that handy there. And uh, go up in here and type the line. And so I'll select that and put in byline. And there she is. This is also in a box, so I'm going to go ahead and also make this... Uh, a, uh, a drop cap while I'm at it. So that, uh, a little bit of problem with this because um, it's only, the, the paragraph isn't long enough. So it may mean that I need to add, even though the rule is to only have one sentence um, uh, lead, in this case, I may not have a choice if I want to keep a, a drop cap in it. Um, so I'm looking here. Uh, I think I will just go ahead and combine those first two paragraphs for this wide of a column. It doesn't look too long. And so the main reason why we keep things, uh, keep our paragraphs so short is because they look scary when they're in one col in one, uh, one column, but here we're going two columns wide, and so it doesn't look so intimidating. So I, I think I'm going to choose that and uh, keep, keep the drop cap. And uh, go up here and find a headline or write a headline. Um, Um, this one uh, is going to be small, so it's actually going to be about the size of a of a subheadline. I'm going to go ahead and use the subheadline uh, style and uh, maybe shrink it a little bit. It's uh, from 26. So that's 24. Uh, it is. That's interesting. I need to probably, I need to go to no style first and go back to that because uh, uh, it's not showing up in Arial, for example. And now I will again shrink it a little bit. It doesn't quite, so I'm going to have to bring the um, story box down and bring the headline box down. Uh, I see. The way I've written it, I'd have to, um, I don't know, it's cutting off the word community. And that may be just as well, that matches very well without community. Uh, although it may be better to take out students um, and see if that is still within three, three characters. And so I don't have to make it a lot bigger. Uh, I can, because it's in a box, my style will be what the, my former daily newspaper was that in a box. I can uh, make it italics. No, I'm not going to make it italics, but I will make it light face. Um, it looks like I can go one point bigger and still make it fit. So I'll go down here until it be 25 points. 
Okay, so that fits. And I will shrink that box a little bit so I have a little more room for, room for the first part of the story. And uh, put in a jump line. So again, I'll create another. This makes me question whether or not I really want it to be two columns wide, because also the jump line ought to be two jump, two columns wide. If I take, if I don't, well, maybe that's the key. Is oops, I didn't want to do that. Okay, so I'll make that go back to uh, um, body text for that. And this one, and I'm just going to select the box, and uh, or the text frame, rather. And I need it to uh, be two columns. I'm going to go back to two columns. Um, I guess I'm wrong. There it is, the uh, text box. And tell it to be two columns. And... Uh, And that'll be better. I don't take so much space for the jump line either. I bring down the text box a little bit. And actually the, uh, the graphic box is also a little bit high, so I can bring that down to match the text next to it. Um, this is still jumping. I'm going to have to... You can turn off the jumps. Uh, so up here under... Um, I guess it's under view. Let me see. So I have both snap to guide and, and uh, text bot grids. Both snaps are on, it looks like. I take off that one to see if it lets me be a little, be freer in my, still snapping. And go back under view. And, uh, Turn off the text box grid and see if that lets me be not. Okay, it's still trying to jump to it. I'm going to get even a little tighter. So I can get that uh, to do what I want it to do. So you see, if uh, the closer you get, the more exact you can be. Now that is, well, this one I could want to go down to be to be even with like a G if that were to come down. Um, so I'm going to go down about like that. Okay, I'm going to go back up to one and bring a, and create another jump line. Again, it will be faster if I just go steal another jump line. Since they're all in separate boxes, I can just still just copy it. So, control V, control V on the keyboard. I'll bring this down. And I actually, well, pretty good. There's, okay, so I'll bring this down here. Uh, shorten it up a little bit so I didn't push the other column out of the way. And, uh, this one will be called uh, hiking. News on page two, and I will copy it. What did I just do? Well, there it is up here, um, and bring it over into the next story where I forgot to put in a jump line, and we'll move over. Take a look at that. Try to even out all those. Um, everything in this and these, all these columns, and even those out anyway. So I'm going to go a little tighter again. Use a magnifying glass to zoom in on at least about like that, about two columns worth. Uh, so the text box here. And the uh,
well, the bottom of the G is what I wanted to line it, the text box. Well, that's about right. I'm going to bring down another uh, ruler guide to hit the bottom of the of these uh, of the text in this these lines, and I'm going to scoot over and see where I have to make adjustments to that. I'm going to hold down the Alt key and move it over. So the that column is about right, that column is right, this one is not quite right. The very first column needs a little bit of extra letting, so I will uh, select the second paragraph here. Um, it's better not to select the paragraph that goes on to the next page. I see I have an editing question here. Um, I'm going to presume it's correct and get rid of Select that paragraph, and I need to go increase the letting slightly until that column comes down. So I'm going to go 22%, enter, not quite still. Let's go to 23%, enter, still not quite, so it looks like 24 will make it. 24%, enter. Uh, it's still not quite. Uh, we'll go 25%. And enter. So now we've got all those columns lined up. And uh, you know, again, hold down the Alt key to drag the uh, page over to see that everything's hooking up okay. Now this one's not, this byline is not hiking. This one should be um, something like runner, something like that. We will say sometimes in the different boxes you you uh, have a little bit of a problem selecting into them. Um, It should be at the top, but that's uh, one thing you can do is make sure this is at the is above the text box that's below it. So I'm right clicking and telling it to send. Uh, actually, bring forward is what I wanted to, but it apparently is on the top. But I don't, so I don't know why it's not letting me click into it. If it's on the top, it should. There we are. Okay. Sometimes it just has to know who's boss. We have lots of jumps to jump to page two. Um, you won't be required to jump that many, except you do have to end your story someplace that makes sense. And so if you can find a place to cut a story, you can cut it if you want to, as long as it makes sense. Now we see all these jumps. Um, so page one is basically done. We go up to control zero to look at page one. So we see we've actually have uh, uh, every story needs to jump unless I find a way to cut them. And I don't know if I want to or don't want to. Um, for now, I think uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to jump them all. So reinforce what I want to teach you. So I'm going to create another text box. Um, I'm going to create a text box next to each of these uh, so that I can do like I did the first one. I've got, I'll jump that text over to here. I will jump this text on the left over into kind of this area. Um, I will jump, then I'm going to jump, create a text box on the right side for this story in the lower left, and I will jump, I'll create a text box here for the store in the lower right. You see, by the way, we have lots of good art in this. We fit in uh, one, two, three, four, five pieces of art, uh, including a good center of focus. Um, okay, now going back to, um, so I'm gonna uh, choose the link button, click into uh, this box, and then click the box next to it. 
There we see that one. Now I'm going to, um, I'm still in that key. I'm not sure what happens. I don't want it to try to link into that. So I'm going to hit uh, escape, go someplace else, and then back again. And so this one is click into that box and then click into that box. I'm again going to click someplace else and back to the link button again. I don't want to get confused. Click in this box and then in this box. Um, uh, is the story almost over? I don't. Looks like there's not much there to jump, so maybe I won't be jumping that one. Um, and again, click someplace else and back into the link box. Click into here and over to this box over there. That one we see has uh, quite a bit left to put in. Okay, so seeing what we're seeing, um, uh, we're definitely going to end this story here on page one. Uh, so I'm going to go down and click back down here again. And uh, I'll start off with control one to get close. I'm going to get that uh, jump box out of there. Now uh, I'm just going to hit delete. And so this box cannot um, there's not, mu not much, there can't be much to it. So I just need to, uh, let me hold down the alt button to go back over and see what we have, which is literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven words. So we don't need much out of there. Sometimes we can um, actually make some some paragraphs a little bit longer, which I don't like to do. I like to, as you, as I've tried to tell you all, I'd rather have. Um, separate separate paragraphs for indirect quotes and direct quotes. I see up here that we already looks like this line has already doesn't have an indent. So it seems like it's already part of this other, other paragraph. Um, I'm still I am going to go ahead and just uh, click in here and hit uh, backspace and make that part of that uh, paragraph to get rid of one line. This one here, I could do the same thing, get rid of another line, and actually that then fits. So everything fits by just uh, closing in, making the paragraphs a little bit longer. I, I'd i rather do that than cut the story where I don't see an obvious place to cut. So that we now have made it fit. So with that, um, I'm gonna, uh, that other text box isn't needed anymore. That This story will not jump. So now we have four stories that jump. And uh, now there's uh, several ways of doing this. Uh, I actually, um, I'm get rid of this box here while I'm at it. Um, you can actually put these, create these text boxes in the second page. Here's the second page down here. But I put them up here so I could see them. But now that I see them, I can go ahead and move them. So I can go ahead and uh, see we have a bunch of just uh, some empty uh, it shows there's more text. There's not really more text. There's more spaces apparently. Uh, but I won't worry about that right now. Yeah, maybe I will. Now let me close in there and get rid of the, the spaces that seem to be in here. A lot of spaces. That kind of fouls things up. Make sure nothing else has anything like that. Uh, yeah, there are a bunch of extra spaces down here too. So if we 
have allow those extra spaces to stay there, it's going to keep telling us that we have more story, which, uh, like this one here, says there's more story. There's not really more story. Do that. I'm not sure exactly what I did. I'm going to do that. I, I still don't know quite happened there. We've got. Uh, I don't know what's going on here exactly. We ignore it. Okay, we have this one that is a little longer. Okay, so I'm going to go back to Control Zero. And I'm just going to move these text boxes. Um, I'll probably put the. Um, well, we have thinking back about the art, what art we have. Uh, we also have a, another story I can put in, but I think I'm not going to bother to do that today. I won't use another story at the top of the page. Uh, but the longest story, the longest jump is one at the bottom. And so I'm going to move that uh, over and let that be at the top of the page. And I think it has some other art that we can use okay with that. So I'm going to move that right in here for now and move it all the way across the top. So that will go all the way across the top when we get there. Um, let's see if there's some more. It doesn't seem to be a bunch of empty lines there, maybe. I don't know. Um, and then I, I'm just going to work my way with the longest, the shortest, uh, so that we can have better design towards the top. Uh, the short stories, it's hard to design a short, a, a good jump for a short story. And so I'll bring that one down. The, uh, well, that is um, the, um, that one is the football. That actually has pretty good art, the second one, but it's, well, the second one is almost identical to the first one, so not really. Uh, so I will get the third story, bring it down, and uh, bring it down into the jump page. Again, I, I'll do more stuff later. And I'll go to the top story. There's not much left of that, but I don't really want to cut it. I don't think I'll, I'll still, but it's so short, that's definitely one reason why I want it to be at the bottom, because uh, there's just not much to, uh, much to do with it. Okay, so now I have the elements I need to start with anyway for the jump page. The, uh, uh, the rule is, and this is the part that you need to understand, is that uh, my rule is best practices is to put a new headline on page two. Um, and as I explained in another, what did I do there? Um, what I explained in another uh, lecture was uh, that in my own experience, I, uh, I actually was uh, competing with the daily paper that I used to work for, and they started writing a new headline for page two, and I found myself reading stories, uh, reading the jumps of a story that I never read the first of because their jump, st their jump headline was interesting which also then, even in most cases, caused me to go back to page one and read a story I didn't think I was going to read. And so that by itself told me best practices was what they were doing, and that is write a brand new headline, have a jump line that matches page one so they can tell which story it goes with from the jump line with that little slug line, uh, runner, uh, hikers, what, hiking, whatever those jump, those, uh, jump lines were but we'll write a brand new headline. So in this one, I want to uh, uh, write a headline that goes all the way across the top here. I'll put in another photo, and we will 
um, wrap this uh, story. I think probably most of these stories will be um, the full six columns wide. I can go ahead and uh, click in here right now and go to the text box and tell it I want six columns right off the bat. Um, although we'll have that will wrap around a, a, a photo. I need to um, create a headline box. On page two, you don't necessarily have to have uh, subheadlines. In fact, I would, I'm not going to put subheadlines on page two. I might, um, in the real world, maybe at the top of the page to make the top of the page look better. But uh, since it's a jump and not the start of the story, I don't feel compelled to. Okay, the, uh, we saw in uh, the, the front page that they had uh, put in tabs in here. We gotta get the, rid of those extra tabs also. Uh, tabs, or I guess uh, the, actually this is the one they had. that up and uh, check that out see if we've got another one with some space put in front of it good ideally be done in word before it ever gets brought in but I didn't notice Especially, I didn't notice they were they used the space bar for the arrow keys. Uh, here's some more. And some more. Okay, using holding down the alt button, I'll go around here a little bit, make sure I've got everything that looks right. Um, and now I'm looking in here to find the new headline. Because I, uh, in order to draw somebody, what at least again my personal experience was when I was being pulled into those the jump of the other stories is because there was something on the jump page that they were now headlining, and so I need to look around here. Uh, it may come from a quote, walking in the mountains, I was listening to the music of nature and my morale was restored. Um, might lead to a headline, kind of reflected in that photo I had on page one. Um, mountains have a positive influence on people. So let's kind of try to go with that a little bit. I'll click into the headline box. Um, hikers feel positive influence, positive vibes from mountains. I don't want to put too many words in there because I want it to be a, since at the top of the page, it has to be at least 36 point, even on the jump page, or at least preferably. Uh, so I'm going to go over to uh, click the 36 point bold face, make sure it's uh, fitting in OK. And yes, I can go quite a bit longer than that even. So I can go bigger than that. Um, I like the that word. I'm going to go ahead and make this a aerial black. So it gets a little bit bigger on its own. And hold down the shift control buttons again and the period or greater than sign. It doesn't quite go all the way up to the next major size, 48. But it looks like it's pretty close. So I'm going to uh, change 48 to 46. And in fact, it looks like it might go 47. It does. Um, so we see I left a little too much space for the headline. I'm going to bring that box up. Bring up the, uh, the story box as well. And uh, I need to bring in another photo. 
I need to look on that, uh, go look in there again, see what kind of other photos they have and hiking. Uh, they're not great photos. Um, I'll get this one with the gal eating the watermelon. I guess that's not great, but uh, makes me wonder if I should have put Nerese up at the top. Um, I might still do that. Uh, but for now, I'm going to, uh, regardless, I, I need a photo for this. I will put a photo for this. I'm going to go back and I think I can't see putting her bigger than uh, two columns. So I'm going to create a uh, box here for two columns and bring her in. We're also seeing that maybe I might have a column over here for one of the short jumps. Uh, might be better, but anyway, for now, I'm gonna go in here and pull in that gal. And uh, tell it to scale picture to box. Move her To bring her up. And bring the text box should be a little bit wider. I see I didn't make it quite wide enough. Uh, so Okay. We want some of the background, so I'm going to leave. I'm not going to crop this anymore. Uh, I want the mountain background to it. Um, I'm going to again tell. I'm going to tell the fit box to picture now. And. Uh, so I think with this, I could probably put the shortest of the stories next to it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, I need the caption regardless. I'm going to get the uh, text box and bring in a caption. I do not know who this is now after if I ever did. I don't remember. Um, I'm going to create the text box down here and then move it up. Say caption for the second. And move that up underneath the photo. And find the name of somebody in the story and say that's her. I don't know who it is. So find a female name. Kyla, yeah, long name. Um, if I can find her, I'll copy it out. If she's on page two, yes, yeah, she does start in page two. So most of page two actually comes from her. So well, that's good. Um, she is also a KMAP student, an accounting student, to be precise. Okay, I screwed that up somehow. I need to undo whatever I just did. Undo paste. Okay. Again, I'm having a hard time getting into this uh, box. I may have to pull it out altogether. Okay, now I'm just selecting it separately and clicking into it has allowed me to do it. Now I can paste her name in there. Uh, and our age came up. Accounting student. Joy's snack. On the way. In the 
Okay, we'll see if that's going to fit. I don't think it will actually. Hit the caption button, it goes over. Um, a county student enjoys a snack during her, during her hike. Mountain. Okay, the rule is uh, to among the professionals to get halfway, so we're slightly over halfway. Okay, so we have that. Now we can uh, go ahead and decrease the size of this text box and see what. Oops, I need to, uh, I see I need to wrap, do a wrap on this. I need to uh, do the wrap. And I need to say item down here. Okay, so kick that story. So we see we're about, we're pretty much perfect here if I just end this in, uh, in five columns. And then I put another jump next to it. Uh, the only question then, we hit control zero so I can see this a little better. Control zero. Um, so I need to make would make need to make the headline smaller. Hackers feel positive vibes for mountains. Let's see what happens if I bring this box all the way up. Maybe I can fill the space. Yeah, I think I can. So maybe I will just go keep it as one headline across the top. Control one to see it better. And uh, we will kick this story all the way over here. And that does come out about even. So now the challenge will be uh, I'll bring down a rule from the uh, a guide from the ruler and see how to line all this stuff up actually it's already lining up pretty well kind of lucked out on that one it is lined up all the way across so oops <laughs> screwed that up well I'll again have to do some playing with this stuff probably combine some paragraphs again I didn't put the jump line in so I need to go get a jump line. And again, I'm just going to be a little lazy and go up and grab one and bring it down. And that happens to be the right one. So I'm going to hope when I come down here, it will actually paste down here. Let's see what it does. Control V. There it is right there. So I'll bring this up here. Now this jump line, of course, is jump from, not jump to. Uh, but... Uh, so, and, I, and this one I want to be, um, so I'm gonna actually uh, make a new style. This one I want to be flush left and uh, continues, hiking continues from page one is what we will be saying. Uh, but because I guess just because it's flush left, I will still, and I don't know if it's worth Make a whole new style out of it? I guess I will. Um, so, new, and we'll call it jump. And hit OK. So, we jump to and a jump from style. So, this has uh, undoubtedly kicked the story over two lines over here. Uh, but we have a lot of short paragraphs here. So this will not be hard to uh, come in here and hit uh, and combine those two paragraphs real easy. Um, and this one over here, real easy. But so with that, I'll go back and it should all line up again. Uh, but it didn't. Actually, I didn't need to 
appears I don't need to do that. Let me go back over here. Yeah, that lines up without it. So uh, that top uh, story is jumped properly. Uh, I think I'll stop the video here. Maybe I'll do one more just to make the point. And then I'll show you the, uh, the whole page when I'm done. I do want to, uh, so here we have this Titan story. It has, uh, I know it has art with that. Um, <clears throat> not great art. Uh, none of the art I don't think in this page is going to be great. Um, trying to get everything to line up properly. Uh, if I'm going to try to box it off at the bottom, and, and I'm not asking you to do that, actually. Every story should be, uh, you know, should be rectangular, should be modular. But I'm not going to, since I'm not having you finish the page, I don't care if the bottom of all the page, all the stories put together are is, is straight across. That's fine. Just make sure that um, each story is modular. So with that in mind, I'm not going to care too much about that. I'm going to um, make a, but I'm thinking that the combination of these um, somehow did something. Oh, there it is. It may be possible that these two stories will kind of match up, so the two short stories. So I'm going to put in the long story and, uh, and try to make that um, just looking at it again. Looks like I might I think I'm going to put a box around it because I'm going to put a headline next to it. Um, so I have room for a, a three column photo. Um, I'm going to put the jump over to the right. And I can make a photo match up with the story uh, and the headline next to it. I think it will fit pretty well there. So um, again, I'm going to go out to hit Control Zero and go to a graphic box and put a graphic box six columns all the way across. It'll have to be adjusted at some point. Certainly. So well, there's a graphic box there. I need to uh, tell it uh, that I need a frame. Uh, so again, hopefully I can get it to give me. Okay, this one I'm going to go ahead and make one point again, a little bit thicker. Um, and it'll now I just caused a problem myself. Okay, well. Um, now I can't put, it'll look odd to put two uh, stories next to each other and box one of them. So I'll put one under the other. I, I, that doesn't really matter. Okay, so uh, this one though, I'm going to uh, start off by putting in the, putting in the story. And then I will um, put in the photo next to it. So it's like the... Uh, Move this other stuff down a little bit. The graphic box itself probably have to be a little bigger if I'm putting, I'm going to fit the story into uh, three columns and offset it from the text box a little bit. Um, I will monkey with that in just a second, but for the moment I'm going to tell it to go three columns. Uh, so I see approximately how long it's going to take. I'm going to uh, click on the okay I'm going to click on the uh, the item tool I need to uh, it's trying to get me, it's trying not let me into it um, because the text box is over it. So I'm going to send the text box back and tell it to, 
Okay, send to the back. So now that should let me get to the text box. Uh, so sometimes when one item is over the other one, you have to move one backwards or one forward to get to it. So now that I have the text box in front, I will go to the text, um, click, uh, I'm gonna go click on the text uh, box uh, function down here. And I want to tell it to be like this one. I'll make two columns across three and hit enter. And so we've got, uh, because it's going to be a little bit smaller anyway because of the, uh, uh, because of the graphic box around it. Okay, so we see how that's going to look a little bit. I can go ahead and uh, first off bring out the uh, ruler guides out. Um, and I may have to adjust those later, but I'll bring them out from the ruler so I can see them. And I will zoom in to control one to 100%. And uh, I need to do, I'm going to go ahead and do the headline first. I need the jump line, of course. Um, I'm going to bring the text box down just a little bit because I might need just a little more room for that headline. Again, the headline is also just going to be uh, three columns because I'm trying to make this deep so I can. Be sure to have room for the uh, picture next to it. Um, okay. Looking at the jump here to make the headline. Um, Okay, so uh, the coach enjoyed a record of seven wins and one loss. Um, so returning coach um, enjoys seven and one record for Titans. Okay, well, that's across three columns. I need it to be at least two lines. And so that's going to be pretty big type, actually, which is fine. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start with uh, the 36 bold face, but it's going to be bigger than that by the time I get it to fit, but not up to 48. So I'm going to Tell it to be 42, split the difference and see what it looks like when I go to 42 point. Uh, that, and uh, it does split right where I'm within three characters, characters, but if I can make it closer, mm. uh, it's close enough, especially in a jump. So I can go up to 40, it looks like I can go up to 44. Let's try 44. Oops, what I'm doing. And that looks fine. Um, we adjust the uh, the ruler guide over a little bit, and adjust both the headline text box and the uh, story text box over to that. Um, actually, the text, the headline text box, can move up a little bit. Although, let me before I go any further. It looks like we can go one more point size. So instead of 44, we'll go 45. I want to make sure I have the depth for that. That looks fine. Um, so now I can, uh, I need a jump line. Meanwhile, so um, I'm going to bring in Again, I'm going to run up here and grab the text box or the jump box that I had up here, make a copy of that. Um, come down here and paste it and move it up into 
right above the text and all the way across the top of that column and I need to remind myself what uh, the jump slug was. So I'll go back up and see that uh, the slug was football. So we need to match that. I'll come down here and change hiking to football. So we've got uh, so we see that with that headline, we can move up the text box a little bit, and um, so we've, that's all the text we have. I'll move up the graphic box. I'm hoping that this will allow me to fit in that three-column photo. Bring it over the, uh, also, as you get the graphic box out to the, margin, bring the ruler guide over a little bit, and create, you know, let me get so I can see the pretty much the whole thing, and create the uh, photo box, and leave enough room though with the, uh, for the caption. I don't think it needs to be more than about one line though, so I'm going to the photo box about like that and uh, see what we have all we have is really this uh, the, the other two the, the second one is really close to being like the first one uh, the other good photo I'm going to go ahead and do the group photo on page two not my preference as you know but I don't want the two photos that we see too much the same. So uh, let's see about um, <clears throat> I'll right click and tell it to fit uh, picture to box and uh, keep stretching it out a little bit more. You get the width the same as the box, as the photo box. Uh, now I can just move it straight up because we've got the crop space at the top rather than the bottom. So I'll take the photo, move the photo up. I really don't want to have a very long caption here. So I'm going to just stop right there and click out and that should Cut off the top crop and put in a text box under it. And uh, I don't really know if this photo was taken before or after the game. So I'm going to pretend that it's before the game for the caption purposes. Rules for caption writing is not to say the obvious, <laughs> uh, although the obvious is they gathered for a group photo. <laughs> uh, I don't know what else to say about it. Um, let me see. Let's uh, uh, maybe something about the victory. Maybe so. I'll, I'll do make it after the victory. That gives us something else to talk about. Um,
Uh, not a great byline or uh, caption, but I think it would do. So I'll select that and go click the uh, caption style. Oops, not, not that one, that one. And uh, bring down a guide to even up uh, right next to the text. So I know how to bring the byline down. I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom in a little bit here uh, so I can see uh, where it is compared to the text next to it. And uh, I'm just going to bring the something like that. And I think that's okay. Again, hit control. Okay, control zero to look at the page as it is now. Looking good, I think. Uh, I need to make sure my headline isn't too close to the box. It looks like it might be too close to the box. Let me just break it down just a little bit if I can. I think it's okay, I guess. Okay, so we have jump line. We've got... Uh, Anyway, those two stories are done. So, um, this one here, I'm just going to, uh, I think I'm just going to put these next two stories just under two columns down here, um, below that, and leave space for whatever else would go in there if we cared at this moment. But again, you guys don't need to worry about that, and I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm going to uh, put in a text box for the headline. Um, this is the story about um, Nariz. So we will Again, looking at looking for a new headline. Well, the last line says uh, basically Nariz is uh, old and new uh, celebration. No, it doesn't say that. I misread it. Or, miss, or I thought it could be could say that. Um, I'm going to take off now. These all together, ancient celebration continues. Um, and I'll say holiday instead. Call it holiday. And use celebration as a verb. Uh, holiday continues to celebrate um, the beginning of spring. Like that. Uh, hit the. I'm going to hit the. 36 point just to see how it fits. Bring it down. Uh, it's at 24. It's still too big for just two lines. See if I can cut down. Ancient holiday continues to celebrate the spring season. Take out the, celebrate beginning of spring. Uh, anyway, so now that fits. So I'm just going to go with uh, the two-line headline. We don't have much uh, jump to it anyway. Um, I'm going to bring that up. And I'm going to actually just leave it 
two columns wide for purposes right now. Um, oh, I need to bring that down a little bit. I need the jump line still. So I'm pretty sure the jump slug was Naudis. I'll copy that football slug. Come down here. Hit Control V to go down here. I'll bring the slug up to the top. Yeah, there's one reason though to make it too. Okay, there's something odd there. Let me uh, tell the text to go backwards um, again. So send to back. And now I can click on that. I should be able to, unless it thinks it's part of this story, which I kind of think maybe it does. It is like, uh, I'm gonna hit control X to cut that out of there and hit control V. And now it lets me move it. Um, Yeah, I don't, I think maybe I need to make this two, two columns with that jump. It looks odd otherwise. So I'm going to, uh, again, select that text box and and hit the, uh, again, down to below, hit the text box uh, button and tell it I want two columns and hit enter. And make sure that I've got all the bottom of the story all the way. It looks like it evens out right there. And move up. And uh, well, that looks fine. No, I'm not going to bother to put any photo in there. We're just kind of wrapping this thing up. Uh, find the other story over here. Put it also underneath this first, this uh, other one. This one has very little jump to it. And... Uh, also, because of what I discovered with the uh, the other one, as far as fitting the jump line and stuff, I'm going to tell this one two columns also. And uh, so, it, uh, so I can put in that jump line without wrapping around it and stuff. I don't like to do that. It doesn't look quite right. And uh, I do see we've got uh, a tab in there I need to get rid of. And I need a headline. So I'll put in a jump box or a headline box first. Read the rest of the story real quick. See if I see something I can put in for a new headline. Okay, this is the parking story. Um, and so basically this student says uh, he double parks, what's called double parking in America anyway, when he's late for an exam, even if he gets a ticket. Um, so, or he did anyway, so. Student got free ticket. to exam on time. Pretty long one, but uh, actually we want this to be small text size. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the uh, control shift greater than button and see where it takes me at 24 point at that point. So uh, I left it cut off on time to get to exam. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and stretch this out, take off those last two words because it sounds fine right where it is. Um, and go up to 25. I think I can go to 26 point. Okay, that'll be close enough. Yep, right on 26. 
uh, shrink the uh, text box for the uh, for the headline bring up the story text box go copy this jump line and uh, come down here and tell it and paste it in and bring that up the top Uh, change the hiking to parking. And uh, decrease the size of the text box to make it even out if possible. I'm going to uh, click in here and Give that jump line a little more space. Um, I didn't do that up above, but that's a little tight. Um, and if I were doing it, going to be meticulous, I would do that up to the one above it as well. It's also a little tight. Uh, here we're seeing that the, uh, okay, so we've got an extra line here, plus uh, a little extra space that we need to get compensate for um, because I gave that uh, that jump line a little extra space. These aren't matching up quite right. Um, so I'm going to first off select this paragraph and I'm going to, oh wait a second, I see that something here I'm screwed up. Okay, both of these stories I've made, I've lined up with the ruler line, the ruler guide instead of the margin, because um, well, I just didn't look at it very closely. Um, the, the box ahead of it is we have the ruler guide that's guiding the, the text box inside. And so I see now I need to adjust things here a little bit. And now we see above it, um, we've got to, uh, we're shy one line. So I could possibly just split a paragraph in this case and make them add up. They don't quite add up. Interestingly enough, I can uh, just give a little more space to this um, jump box and maybe make it come down a little bit. That looks like that adds up. Gave myself a little more space. Okay, same thing down here. I need to bring it out to the margin instead of to the ruler guide that I created. Uh, so bring all those text boxes over. And uh, anyway, go back to the question of how to even that these text boxes up and I'm going to select uh, this paragraph again. Actually, I can select two paragraphs. Oops. Um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to select these two paragraphs and uh, take them up to about 30 point or 30 percent uh, letting and see what that does. And I'm going to select this one and so that has increased over here I, and I can bring this one down to maybe 15%, the last paragraph. And actually that's a little bit too far, maybe 16%. And those look like those line up nicely. So uh, the assignment's done. Uh, it took me a while to get this, uh, but I wanted to show you how to handle this um, 
jump page particularly uh, I'm going to try making this bold by the way it looks that was um, see if it will fit as bold and it will not take that off oh okay anyway uh, they're fine like they are so hit control zero again so you can see the page so uh, like I say every story is modular uh, but I'm not going to worry about the rest of the page that's not part of your assignment either you don't need to worry about the rest of the page either uh, but we have a couple of photos on there and uh, of, uh, the, the jump page looks pretty nice um, obviously it needs more material and I, as I said I'd probably put the six to the other story I had up at the top gather all of this and put this towards the bottom and bring the the new story brand new story up the top of the page if I were going to use it at all so anyway that's basically what you need to do again you can cut your story so you don't have to jump them I've jumped four stories uh, as long as you can feel like you told your story and you can find a place to cut it for page one you can cut it like I did with that one um, I probably could have cut the uh, double parking story okay and live with that because um, we didn't have too much jump on page two so those two would have been that would have been another one that's been fairly easy to jump the uh, holiday story uh, the Nauris story um, it's longer than it needs to be it's uh, so that one could have been cut pretty easy it might have been harder to cut the other two stories uh, so maybe I, I could have saved time by just jumping two stories and, uh, uh, and cutting the other stories to fit on page one. So with that, we will end this uh, video, part two of uh, how to complete your uh, first design project. And uh, if we will talk about this uh, tomorrow in class.